don't answer next time, he'll come and kill you. When nations are fighting for their existence on this earth, when the question of to be or not to be has to be answered, then all humane and aesthetic considerations must be set aside. For these ideals do not exist of themselves somewhere in the air, but are the product of man's creative imagination and disappear when he disappears. Nature knows nothing of them. Moreover, they are characteristic of only a small number of nations, or rather of races, and their value depends on the measure in which they spring from the racial feeling of the latter. Humane and aesthetic ideals will disappear from the inhabitants and the races disappear, which are the creators and aesthetic bearers of them. Look around here. Propaganda must Hello, always yeah. address itself to the broad Don't masses of the people. For the intellectual classes, I was what is called the intellectual classes today, propaganda is not suited, but only scientific exposition. Propaganda has as little to do with science as an advertisement poster has to do with art. Jackie. He's in Vietnam. As far as concerns the form in which it presents its message, the art of the advertisement poster consists in the ability of the designer to attract the attention of the crowd through the form and colors he chooses. Page 99. The Maoists, who were staying in the room next to Foster Dulles, stared in amazement at the stunning apparition then went into a whispered huddle. Foster Dulles went inside to order Princess Beatrice a Molotov cocktail. When it was served, she drank it down in one gulp. Dulles had the impression that her huge pupils grew even larger. She remained silent for a moment, staring into space. Then, almost without moving her lips, she said, I came to invite you. Invite me? We're giving a buffet supper tonight. There'll be around 20 guests. My mother said I could invite you. You are American, aren't you? Foster Dulles was tempted to lie, but that would have been dangerous. No, I'm Russian. Princess Beatrice shrugged her slim shoulders. When you've been here three or four months, you'll feel like dying. You'll want to do anything at all. Drink, scream, sleep, anything not to so think. But I won't be here that long, said Foster Dulles. I told you I was on holiday. conduct are ruled by sentiment rather than by sober reasoning. This sentiment, however, is not complex, but simple and consistent. It is not highly differentiated, but has only the negative and positive notion of love and hatred, right and wrong, truth and falsehood. Jackie. Its notions are never partly this and partly that. English propaganda especially understood this in a marvelous way and put what they understood into practice. Only the born weakling can look upon this principle as cruel. And if he does so, it is merely because he is of a feebler nature and narrower mind. For if such a law did not direct the process of evolution, then the higher development of organic life would not be conceivable at all. All the great civilizations of the past became decadent because the originally created race died out as a result of contamination of the blood. The most profound cause of such a decline is to be found in the fact that the people ignore the principle that all culture depends on men and not the reverse. In other words, in order to preserve a certain culture, the type of manhood that creates such a culture must be preserved. But such a preservation goes hand in hand with the inexorable law that it is the strongest and the best who must triumph and they have the right to endure. Page 137. The progress of mankind... Liu Chao Shi got back into his falcon. A hundred yards further on, 52nd Street came to a dead end overlooking East River Drive. The two levels were connected by a flight of stone steps. This was a fashionable neighborhood. Southern Place was only a few blocks away. Liu parked the falcon and walked back the way he had come. He turned in at the entrance to number 425. It but was the kind of New York apartment house where they wouldn't let you up unless they know you. The tenants pay a king's ransom to be guarded day and night. Last. No vacuum cleaner sales, no power handles allowed. the higher level without first having climbed the lower rungs. The area, therefore, 
had to take that road which his sense of reality pointed out to him and not that which the modern pacifist dreams of. The path of reality is, however, difficult and hard to tread. Yet, it is the only one which finally leads to the goal where the others envisage mankind in their dreams. But the real dream is that those dreamers help only to lead man away from his goal rather than towards it. It was not by mere chance that the first forms of civilization arose where the Aryans came into contact with inferior races, subjugated them, and forced them to obey his command. The members of the inferior race became the first mechanical tools in the service of a growing civilization. All the parties that profess so-called bourgeois principles look upon political life as in reality, a struggle for seats in Parliament. The moment their principles and convictions are of no further use in that struggle, they are thrown overboard as if they were sand ballast. And the programs are constructed in such a way that they can be dealt with in like manner. But such practice has a correspondingly weakening effect on the strength of those parties. They lack the great magnetic force which alone attracts the broad masses. For these masses always respond to the compelling force which emanates from absolute faith in the ideas put forward combined with an indomitable zest to fight for and defend them. By helping to lift the human being above the level of mere animal existence, faith really contributes to Jackie. Faith really contributes to consolidate and safeguard its own existence. Taking humanity as it exists today and taking into consideration the fact that the religious beliefs which it generally holds and which have been consolidated through our education so that they serve as moral standards in practical life. If we should now abolish religious teaching and not replace it by anything of equal value, the result would be that the foundations of human existence would be seriously shaken. We may safely say that man does not live merely to serve higher ideals, but that these ideals in their turn furnish the necessary conditions of his existence as a human being. And thus, the circle is closed. It must not be forgotten that nothing really great in this world has a... Jackie. To the, the rights of citizenship shall be conferred on every young man whose health and character have been certified as good. This act of inauguration in citizenship shall be a solemn ceremony, and the diploma conferring the rights of citizenship will be preserved by the young man as the most precious testimonial of his whole life. It entitles him to exercise all the rights of a citizen and to enjoy all the privileges attached thereto. For the state must draw a sharp line of distinction between those who as members of the nation are the foundation and the support of its existence and greatness and those who are domiciled in the state simply as earners of their livelihood there. It must never be forgotten that nothing really great in this world has ever been achieved through coalitions, but that such achievements have always been due to the triumph of the individual.